the main differences in the portfolios of uh, male and female investors? Yeah, first of all, thank you for the invitation. It's really good to be here. And for me, always being in any sort of venue where actual investors or people who are passionate about investing meet, it's actually a, a real celebration. So thank you for creating this space. And also in this post-COVID time, it's great to see people uh, in face, in flesh, and discussing things also during coffee breaks. <coughs> the, the main difference that I find, and you know, when I entered this movement and started thinking about these differences, I was like very, very convinced that, and I'm still I'm convinced that money works the same way for men and women. If you own a share, it will be, uh, you, your dividend will be paid or the increase in share price will happen for both of them. But, uh, but what I have found out during, let's say these four or five years right now of this quite in-depth research about these tendencies is basically one quite major thing that I want, I can share with you today. And the difference is mainly in that there's a greater um, goal for women when they inve invest, to invest towards the main goals for your future rather than to outbeat the market. So what you would very, very typically see in different discussions among investors, that they would compare their returns, right? And who bet the market, who did the best, who went into crypto, who used this and that opportunity. Whereas for women, their main value in investing would be that if they can save and invest enough for their kids' education, for their parents' uh, let's say, well-being in their elderly age. So that would be the main difference that I would see. And also in terms of then the portfolios, what you would definitely see that women having portfolios that are way more diversified, probably with, uh, with a good risk pattern, but rather than picking single stocks for the opportunities of higher, uh, let's say, arbitrage possibilities. Maybe there are differences in terms of particular investment products or asset classes. Yeah, I don't think it's it's that much about asset classes. There's a general idea that women, let's say, are uh, more risk averse, less risk takers. I would uh, I would like to contradict that and go again from my main argument on saying if they have made up their decision, they are well enough in, in investing stocks or bonds or whatever. But it, it takes usually a bit more time for them to figure out what they need, what type of portfolio can bring them closer to their goals. But once it's done, and I'm sure you know that as well, that actually they stick to their portfolios much better. They do less sort of trading on stress. So their transaction costs are usually lower and therefore they're also very good asset, uh, asset managers in that sense that they stick with their strategies. Which of the Baltic companies or brands would you definitely have or never have in your investment portfolio? The one that I have and the one that I still keep holding is uh, Mother Cosmetics. It's very, very simple. I was very convinced about their management team and the goals and the values that they bring forward. So I felt that this is something where I want to pitch in as well and, and, and sort of uh, devote that money for good. And it has turned out to be a wonderful investment. Uh, as well for these past years. In terms of not investing, I, I haven't looked at that so much, to be honest. I have a couple of things from the Baltics and what my main problem is actually to make this portfolio more balanced because I tend to have some very passive investments where I just put in every month and some of these idea investments and many of them have turned out to be from the Baltics. So I sort of want to go and when I look at the returns, I really want to go back to this idea that I just invest more passively regularly because that tends to have a very good return for me as well. Okay, so maybe any advice to the investors during this tricky times? You know, it's always the main argument uh, across the board. Is this the right time to invest? I'm sure you have heard it with any wealthy investors, not that wealthy investors. Wow, okay. <laughs> Uh, but, but the general conclusion is that, for me at least, I've made a routine whereby I don't look at the exact timing. I do invest regularly, be it good times, be it bad times. This time is definitely might be an opportunity for someone who was looking at a downturn. There definitely is a downturn. If any of us can promise, will it not go deeper? Nobody can do that. So this is in a way how the weather in the investments field always looks like. Sometimes they're up, sometimes they are down. If you're there long enough, you know that there are opportunities in both. Okay, maybe you have some advice uh, to Liz Truss or Christine Lagarde in that sort of sense. 
Uh, I'm, I think that I'm very, very happy in those shoes where I am right at the moment. And I think uh, I don't envy them for the decisions they definitely have to make from their shoes. So I think I'll, you know, I'll stay up and put my own uh, goals ahead rather than giving advice to those ladies. <laughs> Is the era of cheap credits and low yields for consumers over? You know, it's certainly at this point, it does look like that. What we felt that there's a whole generation who has gotten so used to the fact that the Eurobor can be zero, that it is actually a surprising time for them to see that this cannot be the case. I mean, the world is changing all the time. To say that this time will not return sometime in the future would be probably unwise from my side. But at this point of time, I feel that this is something where we are entering that might stick around for the upcoming years. Yes, that it's not a zero or minus uh, rate environment anymore. So dollars, euros, bitcoins, gold or diamonds are girls' best friends. Girls' best friends is uh, regularly saving and regularly investing. That will get you much uh, higher than any of these separate ones. And once you feel confident enough, then start picking and choosing. But as you grow up your wealth, choose this very, very, in a way boring, but still stable a formula that works very nicely. So save up, invest part of that, and you'll be doing great.